Hello everybody, my name is Senora Hodz and I teach second grade at Wilson Elementary. Today I am going to be reading The Gift of the Poinsettia, a book that teaches about the posadas. The posadas are celebrations that happen in Mexico nine days before Christmas. And we call them posadas because, as you may know, Mary and Joseph were looking for a place to sleep just before Jesus was born. And that place can be called an inn or in Spanish, a posada. And that's why we call these celebrations posadas because we are remembering how Mary and Joseph were looking for an inn or a posada before Jesus was born. I hope you like this book. The Gift of the Ponceria by Pat Mora and Charles Ramirez Berg. Art by Daniel Lechon. Long ago, a boy named Carlos lived in the small Mexican town of San Bernardo. One cool evening, Carlos opened the heavy wooden door of his home and peeked out. This was the first night of Las Posadas. It was quiet. Chimney smoke curled from the roof of each adobe home. Chico, said Carlos to his dog, come and look at the stars. See how they twinkle. Even the sky knows the posadas begin tonight. Carlos shut the door and looked at his aunt Nina, who was chopping chiles. Nina's hair was white. She moved slowly. Nina was Carlos' whole family, and she was enough. In this small house, Carlos and Nina danced, they played, they talked. Nina and Carlos were poor, but their house was full of love. Love is magic, Nina would say. Carefully, Carlos put Chico's food next to the fireplace. Chico licked Carlos' face and put his paws on Carlos' shoulders. No, Chico, said Carlos. No time to play tonight. I can be late for Las Posadas. Nina needs to rest these nights. I must go alone this year. Carlos combed his hair and went to Nina. She looked at him and smiled her Nina smile. Carlos? When you are out under the stars, sing with all your heart. I will make you hot chocolate when you return, and you can tell me all you saw. See everything for me. Then, here is your candle. Outside, Carlos took a deep breath. He stood as tall as he could. He looked in the window and saw Chico and Nina warming themselves by the fire. He felt happy knowing they would be waiting to hear about this night. Carlos joined the people gathered in front of a house that seemed to glow. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, he said. Candles flickered in all the windows. Soon, two boys arrived carrying a tray with two small statues. Joseph and Mary riding a donkey. Doña Lola said, Bueno, tonight, December 16, we begin our journey. Remember that we are travelers with Maria y José, Mary and Joseph. We seek rooms in an inn, a posada, just as they did long ago. For nine nights, we will meet and carry these statues to the next house in our journey. Each night, we will knock at the door. We will ask for the shelter, a place to rest for the night. This is a special time of preparing our hearts for Christmas, of deciding what gift each of us can offer to the baby Jesus, El Santo Niño. Doña Lola knocked on the door of the house. Carlos and the people of his town sang. In the name of heaven, won't you give us shelter, my dear beloved wife, tonight can go no further. The family inside the house answered, This is not an inn. 
Continue, sir, I plead. Carlos and the others sang. My wife is Maria. She's the queen of heaven. The family inside the house answered. Open all the doors, all the doors. Veils will tear aside, aside. Slowly, the door of the house opened. Carlos' eyes grew wide. He saw candles and small lanterns. He saw plates of cookies, pan dulce, fruit punch, and candies. Carlos and the others knelt before El Nacimiento, the manger. On Christmas Eve, thought Carlos, I will go with the other children to the church. We will each place a special gift at the Nacimiento for the baby Jesus. But Nina and I have no money. What can I give that will be special? When Carlos returned home, he told Nina and Chico about the statues of Mary and Joseph and about the songs and prayers. On the second night, Carlos told them, tonight it rained candy. Nina smiled. Ah, a piñata, she said. Oh, Nina, it was so beautiful, Carlos said softly. It was a star of many colors hanging from the ceiling. Whack, 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 went the stick as one by one we tried to break the piñata. Finally, Violeta did break it. Fruit and candy, delicious candy, poured out. We all scrambled to grab some. Here, Nina, here, Chico. I brought some for us. Then the three of them sat eating their Christmas candy. They stared into the fire, imagining the piñata swinging back and forth, back and forth. But that night, in the dark, Carlos worried about his gift for the Santo Niño. On the third night, Carlos returned carrying a small bundle. Tonight, Nina? I saw a table heavy with sweets, as in a dream. There were huge paper flowers and plates and plates of desserts you like, bizcochos, the anise cookies you make, and candied fruit of every color. Carlos unwrapped his bundle and smiled at the look on Nina's face. Carlos, you must help me eat all these, said Nina. Chico will help us, said Carlos. Yes, even Chico liked the bizcochos and candied pumpkin from the posadas. On the fourth night, Carlos said, Tonight I will tell you about my favorite game at Las Posadas. The lady of the house gave us cascarones, eggshells filled with confetti. We all ran about cracking eggs on heads, but trying not to get hit. We laughed and laughed. Carlos held up one of the eggs to show Nina. Chico thought it was one more candy and jumped to bite it. The egg burst. Confetti filled the air. Nina, Carlos, and Chico all got sprinkled with beads of red, yellow, green, and blue paper. Carlos placed a soft kiss on Nina's head and said, You have jewels in your hair, Nina. So do you, said Nina, laughing. And Chico they sat together. The next night, after Carlos told Nina and Chico about the rows and rows of papel picado, cut paper fluttering above the manger, he went to bed early. Carlos was worried. What shall I do, Chico? I can bring Nina candy and confetti, but what can I take to the baby Jesus on Christmas Eve? I want my gift to glow like a jewel. Walking home on the sixth night, Carlos was very sad. He stopped on the hilltop and he sat on his favorite rock to stare at the stars. I have no gift for the Santo Niño, thought Carlos. I wish a star would drop from the sky. I would catch it, carry it home and surprise Nina and Chico. I would take the star to the church on Christmas Eve. It would be my shiny gift for baby Jesus. But no star fell from the sky.
Look what the lady of the house gave me, said Carlos on the seventh night. He held up two farolitos, tin lanterns. They are to make our town glow on Nochebuena, Christmas Eve. They will light the way for the Santo Niño. On Nochebuena, we will place lanterns in the trees, on roofs, around the church. And this year, Nina, we too will have our own farolitos to hang outside our door. Oh, Nina, what a night Christmas Eve will be. On the eighth night, Carlos received tamales and buñuelos. Carlos loved buñuelos, the crisp, thin cookies sparkling with sugar made for Nochebuena. At home, Carlos asked, Nina, tomorrow will you go with me to the church? Chico will guard our home. First, we will light our farolitos. Then we will carry our candles to the last house of Las Posadas. The boys will take the statues of Joseph and Mary and place them in the Nacimiento at the church. The journey will be over. Carlos became quiet. Carlos, said Nina, don't forget that you and the other children will each place a small gift before the manger. Carlos said nothing. Nina knew Carlos was worried. Jesus was poor like you, Carlos. He loved to run and play in the hills of his town, just as you do. Go out tomorrow and collect the plant that grows wild near your favorite rock. That plant can be your gift. But Nina, I want my gift to shine, said Carlos. I can take a weed as a gift. The Santo Niño will understand, said Nina. Love makes small gifts special. Finally, it was Christmas Eve. Carlos stood in line before the manger with the other children holding his little plant. Some of the children carried presents, flowers, and small wooden toys. Carlos felt sad. He thought, my gift is such a small gift. A tear slipped down his face and fell on his plant. Then something happened. His tear turned the leaf red, bright, bright red. Carlos looked at Nina. He looked back at the plant in his hand. Another tear fell and another leaf turned red bright red. Carlos looked at Nina again. She smiled. Then it was his turn to play his gift before the nacimiento. Carlos put down his glowing red plant. It was the most beautiful gift in the church. Carlos squeezed Nina's hand. She had been right. Love is magic. Love makes small gifts special. <laughs>